Hi, I'm Tom Dyer with Medicare Specialties Insurance Associates in Garden City, South Carolina. Today, we're going to talk about insurable interest as it applies to life insurance. The practical application of insurable interest exists when an insured person derives a financial or other kind of benefit from the continuous existence of the insured object or in the context of living persons, their continued survival. A person has an insurable interest in something when loss of or damage to that thing would cause the person to suffer a financial loss or other kind of loss. Typically, insurable interest is established by ownership, possession, or direct relationship. For example, people have insurable interest in their own homes and vehicles, but not in their neighbors' homes and vehicles, and certainly not those of strangers. The factual expectancy test and legal interest test are the two major concepts of insurable interest in these applications. As in the case of life insurance, Insurable interest means the interest of a beneficiary of a life insurance policy to prove need for the proceeds of the policy. This is called the insurable interest doctrine. Specifically, insurable interest is an interest based upon a reasonable expectancy of pecuniary advantage through the continued life, health, and bodily safety of another person, and consequently lost by reason of their death or disability. Or, a substantial interest engendered by love and affection if closely related by blood or by law. The principle of insurable interest on life insurance is that a person or organization can obtain an insurance policy on the life of another person if the person or organization obtaining the life insurance values the life of the insured more than the amount of the policy. In this way, insurance can compensate for loss. A company may have an insurable interest in a president, CEO, or other employee with special knowledge and skills. A creditor has an insurable interest in the life of the debtor, up to the amount of the loan. A person who is financially dependent on a second person has an insurable interest in the life of that second person. Legal guidelines have been established in many jurisdictions which establish the kinds of family relationships for which an insurable interest exists. The insurable interest of family members is assumed to be emotional as well as financial. The law allows insurable interest on the idea that a personal connection makes the family member more valuable alive than dead. Thus, husbands and wives have an insurable interest in their spouse, and children have an insurable interest in their parents, and vice versa. Brothers, sisters, and grandchildren, grandparents are also assumed to have an insurable interest in the lives of those relatives. But cousins, nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, stepchildren, stepparents, and in-laws cannot buy insurance on the lives of others related by these connections except under special circumstances. Life insurance can be one of the most important things you can do for your family in their time of need. I'm Tom Dyer with Medicare Specialties Insurance Associates. Service, guidance, and benefits you can depend on.